finished my Tempo Tuesday, which is like interval running. Um, it was pretty good to be fair. The sun came out, which was fucking perfect. Just don't like it. But while I was running, it did get me thinking about a post one of my friends in the industry did. Uh, a kid called Ollie Foxley. I remember he wrote, like, a beginner goal should be to be able to run for 20 minutes non-stop. And it made me think back to, like, when I couldn't, I couldn't even fucking do five minutes non-stop in the man 20. And it got me just thinking, like, you genuinely just have got a fucking start or you'll, you'll never get better. Um, also, as well, like, most people who are into their training now Try experience everything. That'd be weightlifting, powerlifting, gymnastics, strongman, grip training, athletic development, bodybuilding. We should try all these things. Um, it'll make you a better human. It'll make you a better person. It'll make you a better trainer, better athlete, better person all around. I was only talking yesterday about when I run, I feel like a fucking truck. I feel like a cat ten, and like that's not the way the human body should be. The human body should be able to do all these things. That's what you should try strive for as well. Like unless you are genuinely going to compete in a sport like powerlifting, like weightlifting, short term specialization isn't a bad thing. Look at my friend Ali and Coach. He competed in powerlifting, and now he still cycles 150 to 200k a week still bodybuilds etc etc like you can do it all but I wouldn't put your life on one modality for the rest of your life experiencing a thing is the way to go so yeah now I'm gonna have decaf coffee I'm gonna have a quick shower then I'm gonna coach tonight so I will check in when I can have a good day right that's a night of coaching done I'm gonna head home do my nightly rituals and probably go to fucking bed. I'll uh, see you back at home. You can see me. Um, so that is my Tuesday night wrapped up. I did a bit of my course. I did my journal and stuff. Um, and now I'm gonna go to bed. But I've just seen, so I took some photos tonight, my members and a friend. He's been a fucking good mate of mine for ages. Uh, and he's realised how much weight he's lost and these are the photos he sent me and I'll show you the photo I took of him tonight. So if you can see that pretty well, he was a very big boy. And this was the photo of him tonight. Hopefully like it looks as good as I saw it. And that is him now looking a shit ton better. So fair play big dog, well done. All right, good night from me. Good afternoon, um, it is Wednesday, it is, I'm actually a little bit late, normally I like to train at 2, but it's quarter to 3 now, so I'm going to go train, just been doing my morning stuff, obviously rituals, plan, read, um, did a bit of my course as well, so yeah, time to train. last week to be fair um, but overall decent week um, it was buzzing to see my mate's little transformation uh, what he's gone through physically and mentally kind of inspired me to kind of look at my journey I'll either try show a photo now or I'll just put it up here but this was it works can't really see there. Yeah, this is where I went from. Here I was about 100 and about 109, 108. Here I'm about 90 something. Um, here I was 121 kilos. I was, I was a big, 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 big boy. It just kind of made me realise where I've come from and how thankful I am for everything. I had a 15k PB this week. Training's going well, like I literally can't complain. Nutrition's been a bit shit. I've got pretty much about 20 something days to get to my goal. 
so I need to fucking do it now. Um, I kind of want to wrap this video up with something I wrote, really. And it is about being, it's okay to not be normal. It's okay not to be like everybody else. I literally have a tattoo on me saying not normal. I'll try to show you that now. And I just believe in it's okay to not be like everybody else. It genuinely is. It's okay to have different views to people. It's okay to be passionate about something, about helping people, about whatever. It's okay to not want to get pissed up every weekend, get bagged out your head. It's okay if you want to read books on self-help, business and guidance. I'll never forget reading a book called Unfuck Yourself. I was probably going through one of my dark times in my life. And that book changed my life. It's actually okay to enjoy your job. It's okay to question everything. Do you know what? One of the biggest things that I realise is actually okay to be selfish. If you, if that's what you need to like. There's being selfish of looking after yourself and then there's being an absolute cunt. Find the difference first. Um... It's okay to have a coach, it's okay to have a mentor, it's okay to have a leader. I have so many of those in my life. So coaches wise, I've got the hybrid boys, I've got Ali. In terms of um, a mentor, I've got a business mentor, I've got Jean-Claude, Mike Wearwell, and there's other people on there like Mike Fisher and Tom Plummer, etc. And it's okay to have a leader, I like my friends are my leaders. Philosophers are my leaders. It's okay to have those people in your life. And it's also, it's all good. It's also okay to talk about mindset. It's also okay to talk about your goals. It's okay to talk about your health. Like, standards are so shit and low now. It's so easy to live a life of the least resistance now. Um, so, yeah, standards are shit. So, set your own standards. So, hopefully you enjoyed this week. And I'll uh, keep going. Peace. Peace.